So what do you need to start ice fishing and how much is it gonna cost you? We're gonna cover that today and more on this episode of Hunter Fisher Golfer. So let's get to it. There's one word that people like to call me, and that's cheap. That's exactly how I started my journey into ice fishing a few years ago. And when I started, I started with the bare minimum. One rod, one reel, one chisel, and one bucket. And that's it. That's all I started with, and that's all that you need to get started ice fishing today. And now obviously, the reel needs a line, the line needs a hook, the hook needs some bait, and the bucket needs some Miller Lite. So we're gonna count that too as we keep going. Now you may be asking exactly how much is this gonna cost me? But remember what I said earlier, I'm cheap. So the answer is not a whole lot. But before we get into the nitty gritty, remember to subscribe to my channel so you can get more outdoor videos from me, ice fishing, hunting, golfing, skiing, you name it, and I film it. And you can do that by clicking the subscribe button on YouTube or by clicking my little subscribe watermark down in the corner of the screen. But either way, let's get back to it. So if you're looking to get started ice fishing, I'm already assuming that you own the necessary winter gear, like boots, snow pants, a thick jacket, and anything else that you need to stay warm outside. And I'm also assuming that you own things like a pair of pliers, uh, a tape measure for measuring fish, and a car. Meep, meep. Now your first rod and reel doesn't have to be anything fancy. Amazon sells multiple brands for under $20, which is great. And some already have line. A pack of jigs costs two or three dollars at your local fleet farm, Dick's Sporting Goods, or any other bait shop. And a tin of wax worms is about the same, usually somewhere between two and three dollars. Now if you don't already have a bucket at home, Menard sells their green five gallon bucket for only two ninety nine. dollars What a steal! I personally got my bucket from out of my parents garage a few years ago and I just never gave it back. So thanks mom and dad. Now the only thing left to do is one of the most important things about ice fishing, and that's getting through the ice. A chisel at Walmart costs a little over $20. So after all that, you're officially through the ice, pole in hand, butt on bucket, hook baited, and ready to fish for a little under $50. That's not too bad. But now the next question is, how much fun do you really wanna have? Here in Wisconsin, you're allowed to have three lines in the water at one time per person, T technically per license, so you gotta buy a license too. A Wisconsin first time fishing license is only $5. Now I personally love using one rod and two tip ups for my three lines and multiple vendors like Dick Sporting Goods, Amazon and Walmart sell many different brands of tip ups for between 10 and $20, which isn't bad. Now you just need to bait your tip ups. And usually you can buy enough minnows for a whole day out on the ice for about five bucks. I personally like to use a bowl with a lid on it to keep my minnows in when I go ice fishing. Because number one, it's really easy to carry, lightweight, and it fits right in my bucket. And if you notice, I don't use a sled to pull anything. Why you may ask? Because I'm cheap and sleds cost money. So that's really all I need to start ice fishing on my own? Not necessarily. As the winter months trudge along and that ice gets thicker and thicker, chiseling gets harder and harder. So you're gonna eventually have to upgrade from a chisel to an auger. Now this is where the cost can skyrocket. I've personally chiseled through a foot of ice before. Comment below the most ice you've ever had to chisel through and just how terrible it was before you figured out, hey, maybe I should invest in one of these things. But you do have a few options. Number one, a hand auger. It's a hand powered auger. They usually range from about 50 to $100 new and they can work really well. Option number two, a gas powered auger or an electric auger. And these usually range from between about $200 at the low end to $500 at the higher end. And option number three is kind of new recently, and that's a hand drill auger. Now basically you're just using a normal electric hand drill and putting an auger and a handle on the side of it. I personally have zero experience with these. So if you have one of these, comment below and let me know how much it costs for you to set up. Some other accessories include an ice scoop, 
hooks and baits and a sled to carry it all in, but these are not necessary items, except kind of the ice scoop, because digging your hands in the hole to get ice out of can get really cold really fast. But anyway, now I know I've covered a lot in this video, and it may seem really daunting to start ice fishing on your own, but let me just give you one more piece of advice, and this may be the most important piece of all. Don't be afraid to buy used stuff. The Craigslist platform and the Facebook Marketplace platform are full of people trying to sell ice fishing stuff, mainly because they buy so much and they don't need it all. A lot of the stuff you can buy is very gently used and will last you for a very long time. So that's really about all it takes to start ice fishing on your own. So the next thing you gotta do is find a lake, drill a hole, and start catching some fish. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.